Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We are looking devotionally at 1 Samuel. Today we're in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 19 through 28. And we won't read it all, but we'll summarize some of the things that are happening. So you remember from yesterday, the first two mornings uh, in this series, Hannah's sad. She doesn't have uh, a child. Uh, meanwhile, there's two wives in this family, God forbid. The other one has lots of babies. And Hannah's just very sad because she's barren. And so then we have, they go to the temple, Hannah prays. She's trusting the Lord now that God will answer his prayer. We pick it up right here then, uh, and we'll read verse 19 and 20. And then they rose early in the morning and worshiped before the Lord and returned and came to their house at Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. So it came to pass in the process of time that Hannah conceived and bore a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked for him from the Lord. Now, actually in Hebrew, this would be Shemuel. It means God has heard. She goes back home, and when it says he knew her, that means they had sex together. And what's the result? Well, nine months later, baby Shemuel, Samuel will call him. And so this is what she's asked for, and the Lord has answered her prayer this way. At least nine months go by here, a whole year goes by, they're going back to the temple. She says, no, I'm not going, I'm going to wean this child first. So she stays home, the rest of the troops go to the temple. So let's catch something interesting here at verse 22. She says to her husband Elkanah, not until the child is weaned, then I will take him, that he may appear before the Lord and remain there, and how long does it say, remain there forever. So finally, the time goes by, the child is weaned, and eventually they go back to the temple. She brings Shemuel, Samuel, and they bring him there to Eli. And I'm going to read verse 26 through 28. And she said, Mo, my Lord, as your soul lives, my Lord, I am the woman who stood by you here praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore, I also have lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be lent to the Lord. So they worship the Lord there. So how long would Samuel be there serving? Well, verse 22 said that he may appear before the Lord and remain there forever. And then over here in this verse, it says, he shall be lent to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be lent to the Lord. So in the Bible, we could find this in several other places. Forever is just kind of, this is kind of an aside, but it's still an important one for other things. Forever is as long as somebody lives. Forever is as long as something lasts. How long is it for Samuel? How long will he serve the Lord? Well, he'll remain there forever, but not, not forever like you and I might think of it, forever in terms of as long as he lives, he's lent to the Lord. So forever for Samuel is as long as he lives, and forever for anybody is as long as they live. We might get a wrong idea about forever from Greek mythology or from modern movies or something, but we want to have a Bible definition always of all of our things that we're looking at. Well, anyway, what else do we draw from this? We need to pray. But I would say, look at this, when we pray to the Lord, when we give him our petition, he will answer. Sometimes he doesn't answer the way we want. In this case, he, she was given what she wished. She wanted to have a male child. Samuel is that baby. Let's pray and thank God for his ways. Dear Father in heaven, we have many requests we make of you, and you answer. And you don't always give us. In this case, you gave Hannah what she desired and Elkanah what they desired, but we, we just praise you for that. We thank you that we can bring our needs to you. We can bring our petitions, lay them before you. And so many times you give us just what we asked for. Other times you give us something that's better than what we asked, and we may not understand why you're not giving us the thing we asked. But you're not just a machine to give us whatever we want. You're giving us what's going to help us to grow heavenward spiritually. This was a good thing for Hannah and that family, Lord. Please help us to bring our petitions to you and grant them according to your wisdom. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, lessons for us also here, going back 3,000 years from when we live, but still very useful. God is glad to answer your prayer. And many times he will give just exactly the thing you ask for. God be with you today in all that you do.